Hello folks, here's another batch of the best games from Ludum Dari 48, all on the theme of Deeper and Deeper. Uh, once you're done here, check out the playlist for more episodes, and do subscribe to Randomized User for all the best indie games out there. And we start this batch of games with Vast Trivia of the Void, a slightly Mario Party-esque sort of game where we walk around the place and answer questions. Trivia, don't you know? We also have cards in the bottom right, and um, special items that do various things. Let's have a go. Let's roll the die. Five? A oh, video games question. I should be able to answer this. Which of these is the oldest first-person shooter? Um, Wolfenstein 3D, I think. Yeah, easy. Definitely correct. Yes. Although, how it... Anyway, never mind about that. Uh, so, can I... Is there any items to use? I haven't actually got any, anything useful there, so let's just move on. We've got ourselves a four. Free eye. Oh, no. Got free... V-coins. Don't know what they do. Oh, I think you can spend them in the shop. That's right. Uh, okay. Uh, let's give a go. Three. Random question. This should be fun. Uh, science and nature. According to Moe's hardness scale, which of the minerals is the... It's, it's going to be... It's talcum. It's, yes, there it is. Talcum. I know. I know the Moe's hardness scale. Goes from talc to diamond, I think. Yes, I, I know my shit. Yes. On this particular attempt at recording the game. <laughs> Josh. Oh, ooh. Let's see what. We've got 150 quid. Uh, let's... Use this character as your pawn in the board by switching in the top. Oh, that's what oh, this is then. That's a very expensive one. I'll also get that and all. Change your pawn. Okay, unlockable nonsense. Okay, let's go for you then. Yes, I think that was a, I think that was a different one. Now move to start. Let's let's move on. One, two. Oh no, I'm not going to be able to answer this. Oh no. What is the date engraved in the pocket watch? Who knows? That's literally unknowable. Nobody in the world knows this. Literally nobody. It's October the 3rd. Ooh, <laughs> that was actually a guess. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Oh, science and nature. What is the study of mathematical symbols and its rules? Um, well, it's going to be algebra, isn't it? Unless it's calculus. Yes! You can play your cards here and all. Oh, God. I'm, I'm doing well now. I don't want to stop playing this. But, oh, sports. Okay, I want to stop playing this. This is third party, where this facility is at war. It's an action stealth game where you have very limited bullets, and you have to creep past people of the same faction by holding up members of their faction to their face. Hello, mate. Yes, I'm going to creep past you. Okay, so for this next level, I have five bullets. Do, 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 do. We were going deeper and deeper, you see. Uh, this does take a while. <laughs> anyway, next level. So we'll see how things start to switch up now. We've got blue lads and we've got red lads. So make sure we've got this. We've got to be careful. Oh, hello. Got My thing got shot. Okay, hang on. There we go. Get you. Now we have a new corpse. You poos. Although those lads are a bit tasty over there. So we may need to go boop. Like that. Oh, he's still, still alive. Oh my, oh my lad's gone. Oh, bloody hell, hang on. Right, got you. Oh no, no now what am I going to do? Now what am I going to do? I think I might have buggy this one. Huh. Run! <laughs> Run for it, lads. Okay, so we, we got away with that one. So we're okay. You can also use the corpse, the corpse's weapon a limited amount. Eh, although friendly fire is off. I don't think I can actually, no, I'm just going to have to go for it. Let's get out of here. Oh god, we've got a load of lads. Okay, let's try the red lad. Thankfully, we can actually wait for them to take care of each other. So hopefully they'll drop a weapon of some description. Actually, they don't seem to be dying, do they? Hello, I'm your friend. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Waggling the body at him. Oh no, no! Oh, 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 oh! Unfortunately, he saw through my disguise. Unfortunately, it only works in a certain cone. Anyway, I've got five bullets. Um, now I've actually dropped the body. I don't really want to shoot you because you're a bit... Oh, hello! You've got a big lad gun. Okay. Oh. Mm. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> There's brazen. Oh, you can throw corpses by sliding your mouse when dropping them. That wasn't a very slidey... Uh, <laughs> wasn't that slidey. Well, what we'll do... See, the puzzle, I guess, is... Huh! And... Huh! There we go. Right, now we can go across here. Oh, he still knows he's, he knows me. <laughs> Run for it, lads. No, don't crash. 
This is Dykes and Polders, a kind of tile laying game based around windmills and tulips. Let's bring that down there. And let's make sure that we place things of the same colour together and we will get probably bonuses for days. There we go. I think you have to get three or more together. So you rotate over there. Trapping the yellow somewhat. Uh, we nearly have the ability to get a new windmill, so let's continue onwards. Oh dear, we haven't really got the colours for this, have we? Um, let's start... I think you have to... I think if you're starting new, you might have to do it next to the windmill. I, I, should, have, I should really be looking ahead, shouldn't I? Because things aren't looking particularly spectacular at the moment. But let's try that. That should give us windmill. Let's place that over there. That will give us a lot of space, I think. Again, we're concentrating a bit on orange, but we might be able to link a couple of things together there. Uh, the yellow is expanding a little bit now, which is all very tasty. We'll need a new red district, I think. Let's do... Ooh, purple district can maybe go over to the left in the future. But now we have red and yellow, so let's flip round that to there. Bonuses all round. Can we have a new the windmill yet? I think we can. I'm not quite sure where we're going to put it, though. We have to put it on a tile. I'll have to put it there. I mean, it's not great, but it'll do the job for now. Right, put you down there. Um, ew, that, those purples are just not in good places anymore, are they? Well, I'll try to expand the districts, but we do need another windmill, really, um, to go to expand on the left. I think we've blocked ourselves in somewhat, which is less than ideal. I need to leave a space, don't I, for a windmill kind of a bit closer to things. Ah, oh, not ideal, not ideal at all. Right, we'll see how this goes. Uh, we need to get eight more points. Will this get us enough? Yes, it does. Right. <laughs> that does not expand us very far. Alas. But that gives us points for days. Um, We are f getting towards the end of what we can place down here now. And that does not get us any points at all, does it? Oh, we've completed it. Um, I, Well, n not in the sense that we've, we've won. <laughs> I don't think. But we've got 90 points and that's the main thing. This is Aquarial. This is a funky little 3D game where you have to complete tasks and eventually retrieve the golden olive of truth, of some description. And make yourself a martini? Probably. I may be em embellishing somewhat. Anyway, I'm a fish, big red fish, and I've got to go and do stuff. It's very kind of like jittery and jerky, but um, all is good and some fish will want to talk to me, so let's have a bit of a wander around. And there's also shrimp to collect, but that'll become more important later on. Hello, mate. Have you seen this? Seeing what? This wall is lower here, so I'm not a salmon, I can't jump over it. There's got to be a way! Alright, well yeah, there's a low wall there. But let's have a look, see if we can do this. Majestic! But no. No, I tried this earlier. Yeah, we just bounce off because we can't do that. We're not supposed to be able to do that just yet. Come on, delicious olive. You! Yeah. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it's nice. You should stir it some more. I don't think you appreciate its beauty. Right, so we've now got to retrieve it because the sparrow has stolen our stuff and has dropped it somewhere. And thus the game's plot is <laughs> rolling in motion some somehow. Anyway, now I think we have to talk to you. Oh my god, you're a big lad. Big long lad. I see you have shrimp. If you give me some, I'll teach you to jump. Amazing, sounds great. Through my mysterious eagle powers, I grant you the ability to jump. Give it a try. Uh, now, um, it does appear that I've got 11 shrimp. I should have started at zero, but I think it may have carried over from the previous game, so that <laughs> that skips that somewhat. Majestic Salmon! Five frames a second. <laughs> but still majestic nonetheless. If you can swim through the rings faster than me, I'll teach you how to see in the dark. You'll have to swim through all the rings in 30 seconds. Alright, this is, this is very ringular. Okay, it's very doable, this. So let's just go across here, and we don't really want to swim too high in the sky because even though we are, we're very slow in the air and the timer continues um, unabated, so let's... Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> Here we go, oh, it's even quicker this time. Some big boys in this pond. I'm a big, small fish in a big pond, or however that expression doesn't go. 22 seconds! Tonk! Right, now, so now um, we can actually get the light. The power of... whatever. The power of seeing in the dark. Right, let's go down. Right into the bloody depths where all the really nasty eels live. Yes! The martini shall be made. Mm. No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to fry! Brackets because you're a fish. In this gag. That's not really going anywhere. 
Anyway, the olive is back in its rightful place, and order is restored, and the fish can go about their business. Uh, being food for me. This is Black O. <laughs> this is Blackout is a point and click adventure. Um, really rather cool to have made this in one weekend. It's quite quite long well, quite I say quite long, about 10, 15, 20 minutes if you play it through. I've played it through once, and there's some good a couple of good twists at the end. But to start with, we are some like witch wannabe who is hanging out outside a, a mysterious room. Uh, have a bit of a look around. There's a there's a broom. It's a broom! Did I fly here on this? I think I see a bed in there. But it's locked. Let's check under the skull. See if we can find a fool card. A skull? That's rather macabre, isn't it? And... Boop! Yes, there we go. There's a key. That's what exactly what we need, so let's open our inventory and put the skull key in the skull lock, presumably. There's a corpse down there. Let's have a look at the corpse. Is that a corpse? Right, I do know from last time. There's something under the sheets. There we go. Sigs! Maybe I'll find some use for them. Oh, hello, kitty. That evil black cat there. It's trying to terrify me out of the... Well, I can't get past it, essentially, so we'll try in here. Uh, some portraits there. I already know from clicking on it extensively that it'll just tell you you can't do anything with them. So <laughs> instead, I'll get this little stooly poos. Aha! Look, a thing. There's something up there. There sure is. I can't reach it. So the puzzles in this aren't too difficult. There's a couple of weird ones, but... Oh, hang on. No. It's too dark to read any of these. No, you actually have... Bummer. It's... You have to actually click the stool on the thing. There we go. I hope this holds. Got it. It's a kind of... I don't know what this is, but it has a nice ring to it. In fact, it is a cat bell, so I think we... It's fairly straightforward to know what to do here. There it goes. Right, now let's get into the meat of the game. Very dramatic music now. Portrait of Jim Leahy in the top right. Right, let's have, a, let's have an investigation. Hello, you. Drink. It's me, all right. Bathtub. I think it's thirsty. There's the bog. Uh, I think we need a key for there, so let's keep on investigating. What about you? What a creepy mask. It's mine now. And we found a little keyhole. Ah, the kitchen. I spy a lighter. Convenient, isn't it? Almost as if I knew. Right, you're, you're some nutter with a knife through his head. Hello. Nicotine. What? You heard me. Right, you'll want some cigs. And you'll also want the lighter. And you've given me... A smeared knife. Right. I know what to do with this. Not put it in there. We need to put it in there. We need to fiddle with the lock. Let's hope there's nobody in there. Hey, having a poo. Well, there's a dead person. I'm pretty sure those aren't mints. Right, so we've got the mask at the moment, so there's a bathtub full of goo. Right, I need that mug from over there. It's a mug. It's a happy mug. Right, empty mug. Get the slime, the goo. Well, whatever it is, it's in the mug now. Perfect. My very own chalice of malice. I once had a neighbour named Malice. Malice? Who the fuck is Malice? Would you like a drink? Thank you. Good night. It gave me a key. It's cute. The key of doom. The key fits. I'll just... Give it a quick turn. Something's changed. The noises are coming from behind this wall. Now we're in the basement. And the noises are getting loud. What's behind the door? Wouldn't it be terrible if I finish the video right now? Okay, that's it for this selection. For more in the series, check out the playlist in the description and on the end screen. If you want to say thanks for the videos, and leave a like, spread the word, maybe drop me a tip on buy me a coffee. And see you next time!